Hi, good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Manjanath, uh, your speed reading and mind performance coach. And uh, if you're able to um, so see properly my picture and my sound, so please type it in the chat window. A V clear, A for audio and V for video. You can get started. And I would like to welcome each and everyone for uh, joining today's live. So whether you are watching through Facebook, Instagram, or a YouTube live, I would like to welcome each and everyone. Let us explore. Let us explore powerful concept. Today I'm going to share a couple of powerful concepts so related to your brain. And also I'm going to share some knowledge related, related to how you can learn, what you can learn in fact, what you can learn so that you can earn more. So today's concept is learn to earn, learn more to earn more. I'm sharing so, um, so you will understand this process. For especially for a new people, so the new friends who are joining today's session, let me quickly uh, introduce myself. This is Dr. Manjunath. Um, basically, I coach, um, train professionals, business owners, trainers and coaches on various learning strategy. How people can learn faster, how people can upgrade their brain effectively so that uh, they can gain knowledge and how to apply. These are the special coaching session normally I conduct for a professionals. That's my quick background. So let us um, quickly get started today's session. Um, so basically, I'm going to take approximately probably 20 to 25 minutes. And during this 20, 25 minutes, I'll try to share a couple of knowledge. And also, um, so one of my favorite topic is book reading. I'm going to suggest a couple of books related to what I'm talking today. And also, I'll try to give some practical scenario. So that is the agenda today. With that, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen so that I can go through that. And um, so here we go. Okay, I hope you're able to see my mind map. All of you, you can um, just quickly say yes in the chat window. Let me get started. Just say quickly yes in the chat window. If you're able to see my mind map, learn to earn. Yes. Okay. Amazing, amazing, super cool. Okay, my question to all of you, first of all, first of all, let me ask you the basic question. How many of you believe this point? Yes. To earn more, we need to learn more. Just say uh, L-T-E, learn to earn. Or else even you can just type, learn to earn in the chat window. If you resonate with my point, yes, to earn more and more and more, definitely we need to learn more and more. How many of you really connect with my point? Really resonate with my pan. Okay. Thank you so much, Tinuas. Yes. Um, so you agree my point. And um, so um, Ankit, you agree my point. Wonderful, amazing. And it, so Buma Devi, Mayesh, yes, you agree my point. Joseph Raj, super. Thank you so much, friends. Yes. So this is a, one of the critical and key element for all our success. If you want to see success, yes. Learn more first. Then by default, by default, you earn more. So I'm going to share some few knowledge. Carefully observe. I just divided this knowledge into three categories. The first one, what skill you have to acquire so that you can earn more. First point, I'm going to walk you through. Second point, where you can learn. Sources of knowledge, where you can learn because informations are bombarded in a various different format, where you can learn effectively. Second point. Third point, I'm going to show you some supercomputer. So that means I'm going to share seven tips and tricks to reprogram your brain so that your brain can start acquiring more knowledge. These are the main three topics I'm going to share as part of this slide. And also all of you, so if you have a pen and paper, just make a note. We never know, even a small, small point can transform your life. This is what I keep talking even when I attend any session, any live session, so any kind of webinar, seminar, I always, always I make a note. And also, normally I learn a lot of um, speed reading, speed memorization. I used to memorize also. So my strong recommendation, take pen and paper, try to make a note, try to make a note and so that you can go and apply. So without application, there is no use. Even if you learn anything without application, without applying in your li real life, there is no use. That is the main concept here. Okay, let us move on to the first point. First point, to earn more you need to learn more. What are the skill? What are the skill you need to acquire? I'm going to share around nine different skill. It's a very critical for all of us, whether you are a professional, whether you are a business owner, you are a trainer, co uh, coaches, or even house maker. These are the skill you need to acquire. Let me go through that. What are the current high demand skill? 
okay you have to right now acquire and learn so that you can earn more these are the skill basically i'm going to suggest nine different skill all of you carefully observe what are these nine different skill you need to learn right now okay the first one first one you need to learn how to influence people this is the one of the critical skill actually for example let us take you are working in an organization you are uh, doing a business if you know how to influence so that you can make a lot of difference to your community your team your business one of the critical element influencing you need to first learn how to influence this is the first skill my recommendation second skill i think all of you know communication is one of the top most priority for any person because when you know how to communicate effectively communicate you can grow much faster even i can give an example let us take you are working in an organization you are very good in technical very 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 strong in technical but if you don't know how to communicate yes see the growth let us take other person the other person your friend your colleague he is not that good in technical but the way he communicate he is master in that because of that he is growing much faster just compare even yourself with other if you are good at technical but your friend is not good at technical but you know the communication art of selling is going much faster now we need to realize communication is a very critical element you need to acquire second skill most important skill point number 3 creativity so creativity is another 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 important category in important strategy and also skill you need to acquire why why let me explain for example again i'll take a professional who are working in organization think about what exactly your company is expecting from you so your company always looking for some kind of a creativity out of box thinking from you so then only they'll promote they'll give more salary they'll just um, so give more credit yes creativity is another another critical element you have to understand and acquire how to acquire yes there is a right brain strategy actually i'm going to um, focus a little more on that area so creativity learning how to develop creative side yes you need to learn point number 4 presentation and teaching skill yes presentation skill also another critical element for us to grow much faster in your life so you need to learn how to convince first one is influence second one is how to present whatever you know you know a lot of things but if you don't know how to present yes that is also limit your progress so teaching and also i'll tell you one thing the teaching is the ultimate learning all of you keep in mind teaching is the ultimate learning go and explore when you teach others you are going to learn more you learn more so that is the reason presentation teaching is a one of the beautiful skill and um, so you need to acquire this skill immediately if you if you are not good at this area point number 5 time management skill how many of you realize even probably i'll ask you the question how many of you feel that yes i have a lot of work i'm doing um, so a lot of thing in my office my personal journey professional journey some i am not able to manage effectively type in the chat window time in the chat window if you are facing time management issue i'll tell you couple of strategy even pick up throughout the world any top successful people or any um, celebrity they also having only 24 hours how they manage because they know how to prioritize things very critical element i'm going to suggest couple of books i'm going to suggest couple of books so that um, you'll be able to go and read and enjoy and if you are facing let me ask you a quick question to all of you just type on the time in the chat window let me understand yes yes many of you are following this strategy okay yes yes few of you yes it's a one of the critical element i'll suggest even couple of books okay let's move on to the point number point number 6 carefully observe point number 6 is sales and marketing skill why we need to have this skill so some of you might be thinking yes i am not in this skill i am not in this profession like sales and marketing why i need to learn this skill let me tell you one thing sales and marketing is a common skill you need to acquire because let us take one example you are working in an organization if you want to grow much faster if you want to get more salary if you want to get name and fame and if you want to get promotion what exactly you need to do you need to go and sell your knowledge to your manager you need to explain give a resume and talk about your skill what you exactly did in your project what you are doing you are selling something if you are in a business by default you need to learn there is no other option and wherever you go this skill is very critical very important strategy you have to acquire so what i'll do is i'm going to share couple of books powerful book 
so that you can learn and acquire this knowledge sales and marketing point number seven negotiation negotiation skill yes i hope um so negotiation skill also one of the important strategy if you know this so that um, you can put your point if you want to suggest some point if you want to implement your ideas yes you need to learn this skill so that you can convince people you can influence people and also you can negotiate so this other important skill um from my recommendation point number eight money management yes we are all um so learning something to earn money whether you are working in a company whether you are doing a business but if you don't know how to manage how to manage then growing again it will limit so Another important strategy here is money management. I'll suggest again a couple of books to read so that you can acquire this knowledge. Last point, coaching, mentoring, and teaching. Yes, teaching already mentioned and coaching and mentoring. For example, if you are managing a team or if you are doing a business and uh, coaching is another key, key element so that, so that your team can do better work, best work, so that is the reason coaching, training, mentoring is another important skill you need to acquire. So these are the I demand skill. I demand skill when you start acquiring and when you start implementing in your life, you will be able to earn more and also you can learn more. So these are the few points even currently I am in coaching and training. In this field, it's a magical process because I keep learning, keep learning, keep learning and sharing my knowledge with a student, with friends, and they're also uh, gaining this knowledge and also growing much faster. So these are the nine skills. Let me quickly revise once again. The first one is influence, you need to learn. Communication skill, creativity, presentation and teaching skill, time management, sales and marketing, negotiation skill, money management, and coaching and mentoring skill. When you learn these nine skill, different skill, you can go and apply and also you can earn much, much better. Even I'll give you one quote. For example, all of us, we learn um, so various academic studies since childhood. And school will show you how to lead a life. School will show you how to live a life. So very simple. But when you acquire this knowledge, this knowledge and wisdom show you how to create fortune. Think about it. So do you want only for a leading a life or you want to create a fortune? If you want to create a fortune, these are the powerful skill you need to acquire. When, if, when you start acquiring, yes, you'll create a magic. So these are the few recommendations from my side. Um, try to acquire. Now, next point. Where you can acquire this knowledge? Probably you might be thinking, yes, the informations are bombarded everywhere. When I go to YouTube, when I go to Google, or um, so many different websites, they keep sharing the knowledge. I got totally confused. What knowledge I need to gain? What knowledge I need to process? Let me suggest, and also I'm going to give you a few tips how you can process this knowledge easily. Look at this, where and all you can learn. The first one is, again, a couple of good websites you can explore and try to uh, pick up this knowledge. And the second important point is a podcast. Nowadays, it is becoming popular, very popular. Yes, you can go and listen to podcasts and YouTube videos. And my favorite, reading books. My favorite, ultimate, my favorite is a reading books because reading books will give you some kind of a deeper knowledge, deeper knowledge. And also, you can attend seminar and workshop. So these are the few recommendations where you can acquire. But the thing is, my strong recommendation, um, so yeah, definitely you can go and learn if you go through some website and also you can listen podcast, you can do it. And even you can do a lot of research in YouTube, you can acquire this knowledge. But ultimate goal here is go and learn under mentor. So identify mentor because probably I can write that, that point. So if you learn under mentor, mentor will show you what knowledge you need to gain, where you need to start, how you need to continue, where you need to stop. Otherwise, there are a lot of information, a lot of information. Let us take. I'm going to pick up like um, sales and marketing. So it's a huge, it's like an ocean. What books you need to pick up, what seminar you need to attend, what YouTube video you need to watch. Yes, very tough. So if you identify right mentors in your professional, yes, mentor will show you how to start, how to continue, how to stop. That's a very critical element. So just find out mentor, then follow this strategy. Follow this strategy, follow podcast, YouTube, and read books. And also I'll suggest a lot of books, even you can make a note. So I also keep, su I'm keep suggesting various books on different domain. So I'm going to share this link. So you can visit uh, my site. And in, the, in my site, I'm suggesting a group of books actually. So every knowledge, I'm suggesting at least five books. Let us take. 
sales and marketing i'm suggesting five books because when you start reading this group of books you'll get lot of knowledge 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 book so that is my strong suggestion and just refer this is manjuna.com books and here and uh, you can refer lot of books related to different domain let me move on okay the next one i even strongly suggest attend so many maybe seminars workshop and um, so wherever you go try to pick up those knowledge and try to implement that is my strong suggestion because some people they attend lot of seminar they read lot of books they watch lot of youtube video but they don't take action yes let me mention this action is a ultimate ultimate goal so this is the ultimate goal so when you take action that's how the real transformation so please consider this now let us move on to the next one this is my favorite topic how to tune your mind how to tune your brain i'm going to share seven tips seven tips um, how you can upgrade and reprogram your brain let me consider one point here all of you look at this our brain is like a super computer i hope you agree our brain is like a super computer even more than that actually more than far far more than that so how you can upgrade let us consider your brain is a super computer what exactly you need to do if you consider super computer there are three points one is you need to keep upgrade your uh, super computer right so with this new software new um, up updates you need to keep doing then only your computer will be up to date similarly your brain also we need to do it second one you need to protect your computer take a backup protect or add add some antivirus that's what you need to do if you are managing super computer finally third one is a cleansing yes right if your hardware um, having lot of junk file junk data you need to keep cleansing cleaning that data same thing we need to do for our brain i'm going to explain what are these three things you need to do and so that you can upgrade your brain so first of all consider your brain as a supercomputer first one how do you upgrade how do you upgrade these are the few points let me suggest how do you upgrade the first one is reading books i keep talking about when you read books you are going to upgrade your brain you are going to upgrade your supercomputer your own supercomputer first point second one you can attend so various podcast yes it's a well, nowadays many people are keep watching or listening podcast and they are creating lot of energy while listening yes good one and attend workshop seminar you and i mentioned already attend so many workshop related to what knowledge you need to acquire go and attend so many seminars are available maybe online offline just try to attend couple of seminars related to your subject you can gain more knowledge this is the first one to upgrade your super computer second one second one you need to protect you need to take a backup so these are the three suggestion from my end how to protect your brain how to protect your super computer point number 2 is 8 hours sleep required to protect your brain even let me ask you all of you how many hours you sleep every day type it in the chat window how many hours you sleep every day very critical element to upgrade your brain to protect your brain so let me check so because to protect your brain even we always say that sleep is one of the best brain food so normally for uh, children so the children required at least um, 7 to 9 hours of deep sleep adult we required at least 6 to 8 hours of deep sleep are you are you following this strategy yes 7 to 8 ankit great if you are following great otherwise right now right now please consider this even there is a book called uh, why we sleep Matthew Walker please go and read there are a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge in that book you will understand why we need to sleep very critical element let me go to next point okay the next point here is um point number 3 is shake your body shake your body because when you start shaking your body it will energize your brain it will strengthen your brain what is this shaking your body very simple exercise because your brain required right oxygen right blood flow let me repeat your brain required right oxygen right blood flow how your body can supply right oxygen and right blood flow when you shake your body when you shake your body your body become very stronger your heart become very stronger it will pump right blood right oxygen to your brain shaking your body exercise is a very critical element whether you can do yoga whether you can do maybe cycling jogging anything 30 minutes 30 minutes try to apply you will see the magic point number 4 point number 4 eat well eat well 
and um, so even um, so there is one of the one point i need to consider from the book ikigai so you know right ikigai you most of you might have read that book so ikigai is uh, in that book um, so author has explained there is a group of people in japan and in that community people used to stay for very long time more than 100 years 120 years and they did a lot of research and what what is their behavior what is their food habits what is their um, so culture and they come up with a various strategy that's why it is there in the ikigai and one of the point they mentioned related to eating they always ikigai people they follow they will not fill the stomach they will not fill the stomach they always stop eating as soon as they reach it reach around 80% of um, overall uh, their stomach capacity so they suggest always do not fill your stomach as soon as it reaches 70 80% stop so that that is that will help you to energize overall so these are like a few concept and also try to pick up some of the healthy content and try to avoid junk food even I'll, I'll, i'm going to suggest one beautiful concept all of you can do it today probably if you already uh, completed your um, so dinner is fine or else as soon as you sit uh, in front of dining table just observe just observe your plate so there are so many items right maybe if you're eating chapati rice or various uh, dishes and um, maybe even ice cream or a salad whatever maybe just observe what you have to do very simple process observe and when you feel that there are a lot of junk food unhealthy food pick up one unhealthy food and replace with one healthy food every day you need to do only one thing for example when you notice a lot of ice cream in your plate pick up that and replace with uh, maybe healthy salad maybe vegetable salad or fruit salad that's all you need to do it when you continue just doing this activity just for 7 days or 15 days within 15 days you realize your plate complete with only healthy food even i did that earlier when i started this journey i started doing one unhealthy food replace with healthy food just do that and also every 15 days once you can go and eat even junk food it's fine you need to enjoy with the junk food but at least for a 15 days you need to eat healthy food one day you take your own, just give permission to yourself to eat unhealthy food that's also fine just follow this strategy you'll be able to enjoy your food so that's my strong recommendation even i'm following that okay the next point let me move to the next point okay here we go so next point, what I'm talking here is, uh, okay, we discuss about various point. The first one, upgrade your computer. Second one, we talked about protect, how to protect your brain using sleep well, shake your body, third one, eat well. Third one is a cleansing, clean your body, clean your brain, basically. So similar to cleaning your computer, removing all the um, unwanted file, unwanted content from the um, computer, same thing you need to do for your own computer. So how to cleanse? I'm going to suggest three points. Carefully observe. First point is meditate and deep breathe. This is the ultimate strategy. And there is no other replacement. It's to cleanse your mind. How to do it? Some of you might be thinking, yes, I want to do it. But somehow, somehow, if I sit in front of, maybe if I sit comfortably, if I close my eyes, I'm getting a lot of thoughts, thousands of thoughts. Yes, it's a very natural. It's a very natural. Every day, every person gets around 80,000 thoughts, 70 to 80,000 thoughts. But out of those 70 to 80,000 thoughts, 80 to 90 percent thoughts are negative. So you need to clean, you need to clean using meditate. Probably what I'll do is in this session itself, I'm going to give you one tip, all of you. Simple tips. What you can do is to start with, if you are a beginner, maybe you can follow this. What you can do is every day, pick up one point opposite to you. Probably you are right now you are sitting and watching me, maybe your mobile computer, you're going to see the camera hole. Just observe camera hole for just one minute. Just observe, nothing else. You don't need to do anything. Just observe for one minute. You want to set an alarm, just observe for one minute. During that time, when you think, when you start getting some thoughts, some negative thoughts, some po positive thought, whatever may be, when you start getting the thoughts, no need to worry. Just observe, just leave it. Because when you when when you start thinking you are getting more thoughts, yes, that is a one recognition you need to do it. Later on, just observe that point. Today you need to do one minute, and within three days you need to increase to two minutes. Then after three days you need to increase to three minutes. Continuously just do for this small exercise. Observe. Even you can take some pen and keep in front of you. Just observe. Tip of the pen for one minute. 
continuously do every day for just one minute within 21 days. You'll be able to develop the focus ability, concentration ability, and also it's a meditative state. Just try to do that small exercise. Then you can deep dive into the advanced meditation technique. You can learn under mentor. Basically, you need to learn under mentor so that you'll be able to progress much better. Even deep breathing also, you need to learn under mentor. And um, so just go and explore in Google. There are so many different organizations they are teaching. Even if you want to learn from me, probably you can join uh, my deep breathing session I conduct normally last Sunday of every month. So I normally invite all our students, friends to my session. It's a complimentary. I keep connecting every um, fourth Sunday of every month. Just follow my social media. I keep sharing that knowledge so that you can join uh, fourth Sunday of every month. Let us do deep breathing. Point number six, um, I'm talking about a gratitude journal. So how I many of you are doing this gratitude journal? Just type it on the chart window if you're already practicing this. And uh, this is one of the super important strategy, super important strategy to cleanse, clean your mind. Type gratitude in the chart window if you're doing, if you're doing. If not, I'll tell you today one quick tip to follow. Yes, what you need to do is, you know, right, what is, what is gratitude journal? When you start writing gratitude journal, that will help you to stabilize your brain. That will help you to relax your mind. What is exactly is this? Very simple. For example, let us take, um, so you are having phone. Let us take you are having shelter. Let us take you are eating everyday food. So just say thank you to universe because you are getting that benefit and you are having that, um, what you call those kind of a knowledge, those kind of a, um, sources. Just say thank you to universe. When you say thank you to universe, that's like a maintenance. Yes, you're going to acquire more of those kind of resources. So gratitude journal is a very, very, very important. What you can do is every day before going to sleep, pick up one notebook or one diary. Just write simple gratitude to some people. For example, if you already receive some benefits from some people, just say thank you. Even let us take Zoom. We are sitting in front of Zoom or Facebook and we are getting some benefits. We are learning some knowledge. Just say a simple thank you. Yes, this is what I'm talking. Simple gratitude. When you maintain a gratitude journal, within a few days you realize how you relax your mind. Just try. This is an ultimate, ultimate cleansing tool. Point number seven, no complaint strategy. Yes, yes. This is one of the funny activity, but but you will get a lot of, lot of energy. Uh, my suggestion to all of you, what you can do is for one week, just try, stop complaining. Just try not to complain. So even in our community, I keep giving this strategy. So just take a one week and don't complain um, about anything. For example, if you're sitting in front of dining table, if you don't find right food, don't complain. Try to find out some alternative. If you're traveling and if busy traffic, don't complain. Try to find out some alternative. This is what I'm talking. And just try one week, one week. And this is the another cleansing strategy, cleansing strategy so that, so that your brain will relax. When you follow this simple, simple strategy, this seven simple reprogramming strategy, first one, upgrade your brain. Um, so using reading books, podcast, attending various seminar, various uh, workshop, one first strategy you need to follow. Next one, protect your brain, protect your supercomputer by um, following like a sleeping pattern, shake your body, eat well. And third one, cleansing using meditation, deep breathing, gratitude journal, no complaint day. When you do that, your brain, so I call it as a supercomputer, it will energize. It will energize and you will be ultimate. You will be unstoppable. So this is what uh, currently we are doing. And also I keep suggesting all my students, please go and do it. Please go and do it. Because this is like a grassroot level. When you upgrade, when you energize your brain, remaining will be cakewalk. So this is my strong strong suggestion to all of you and um, so when you follow this strategy when you start learning and when you acquire right knowledge and when you upgrade your brain nobody can stop you you will be unstoppable whatever you are doing wherever you are doing so this is what my strong suggestion with that uh, two uh, resources i'm going to provide the first one is a book okay even i can show you that what kind of books you can read few suggestion i'm going to share and also i'm going to share the link and go and refer my so website. I keep sharing different books, um, spe especially on a different domain related books. Let me share a few books recommendation, then we can close to decision. First one, Influence. Um, so one of the best book to learn influence, go and um, pick up this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People 
by Dave Carnegie. Beautiful, powerful book. Communication, few books I'm going to recommend. How to talk to anyone. Best, best book. We can uh, see that. And uh, then time management. I'm going to suggest few books. Eat that frog and 80-20 rule. My favorite book. My favorite book. I keep up applying this concept everywhere, even for book reading. You know, right? I think probably I can suggest you a few things. In our community, what normally we do. So we read books, but not just reading books. We read much faster. We read much faster. We acquire more knowledge in less time. And also we store much, much, much faster. That's what we do in our community. I conduct a couple of sessions like a Read for Success and um, so various different programs like a 21 Days Challenge and all. And there I try using these concepts again and again, 80-20 rule. Just try to read that. Next one, Eat That Frog, ultimate book for time management. If you are if you have not read this book, today only go and buy. Go and buy and read. Second one, uh, Sales and Marketing. I'm going to suggest two more books if you want to up upgrade your um, brain. First one, Secret of Closing Sales. Just read this book. It's a beautiful book. Next one, you can sell by 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 mm. wonderful book, amazing book. You need to uh, read this book. These are the two good books. For negotiation book, um, go and read Influence. Influence. This is the ultimate book. Time manage money management. I'm going to suggest one good book, um, Secret of Millionaire Mind by T. R. Wecker. Amazing book. How do we manage your money? And also you can read a Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Yes, amazing books to start with. Wonderful book. Next, coaching and mentoring. Um, so you can go and read. You can coach. And uh, by Siddharth Rashekar, yes, he's uh, also one of my favorite mentor. And um, so I learned a lot of things from Siddharth. Go and learn this book. You can coach. Amazing book. And still, if you want to uh, explore a lot of books, I'm going to suggest my website. Here, I keep suggesting so many books, so many books. Let me share in the chat window for all of you to refer my book list. And also, I always refer in terms of group of books. I don't recommend one book because to acquire right knowledge, you need to go and learn group of books. For example, communication, go and read five books. Um, so come sales and marketing, go and read five books. If you want to read mind strategy, go and read five books. That's what normally I do it. So look at this uh, book recommendation. This is what I can do it. And also for first time, if you're a first timer, that means uh, you're attending my session first time. I strongly recommend you need to attend my session, Read for Success. I normally take five days live session. So five days live session. And there I'm sharing how to read books much faster, how to retain information, how to apply. What are the best uh, brain fitness strategy? So uh, if you have not attended so far, I'm going to share one more link. Just um, go and explore. On Monday, I'm going to start uh, my new session. Coachmanjana.com. Just make a note. Uh, HTTP coachmanjana.com. This is the my six days live session. There you're going to explore all this knowledge. With that, I hope you got some um, knowledge related to how to learn more so that you can earn more. And also, I suggested a couple of books. Go and explore. With that, let us close today's session. Before uh, closing, um, so I just wanted to ask you a quick uh, question. So what are the uh, two points you got it from today's session? Even it's a small session, 30 minutes. At least you can get one or two points, I believe. OK, just type it in the chat window. What two points you got it from this session and how you apply? This is what you need to uh, track, actually. Whenever you attend any session, whenever you attend any, whenever you read any books or a seminar, workshop, always ask yourself, I learned something, how I can apply? What are the two points you're going to apply right now? So type it in the chat window. What exactly you're going to apply right now? Otherwise. If you don't take action, there is no point in learning. There is no point in reading books. This is what I always suggest. Action is a critical element. Action, action, action. Type in the chart window. So what two things you are going to apply and start today itself? Maybe you want to read books? Are you going to attend training? Are you want to upgrade your brain? And whatever maybe. Yes, super. I got it. So love yourself. And it, yes, invest in yourself to earn and uh, live happy life. Got it. Presentation is a uh, skill presentation. Yes, I got it. Reading books and gratitude journal. Ankit, I got it. Wonderful, wonderful friends. Yes, go and take action. You will um, learn much faster. And then definitely, definitely you earn more. You earn more and enjoy your life. With that, thank you. Let us close today's session. I'll meet you next Thursday. Every Thursday, I'll try to come live and I'll try to share different knowledge related to book reading, different knowledge related to um, so brain strategy, and memorization. These are my favorite topic. I keep sharing this knowledge. And once you learn, go and apply. All the best, friends. And um, I'll meet you in the next live session. And also, if you have not attended my Read for Success, go and register. 
it's a coachmanjana.com go and register i'll meet you on next monday all the best good night